Monarch Overland Depot here and we're going to show you an installation video of our Forerunner Raptor lights that work with the 2014 to the current Forerunner, which is right now 2020. So if you come over here, here's what your kit comes with. This is the Overland Depot Raptor kit. If you look in our description, you can get it. It's $74.99 right now. And we've got limited stock, but this is the placement with four Raptor lights across the grill. And what we think is the easiest installation and the best route to go with it. So with our Raptor kit, this installation video, it is wired up to the fuse box. And so when you turn the ignition, your lights are on. And so they're running during the day and they're running at night, which we think is an awesome configuration. But if you want to do it another way, you're totally free to do it. And so to start off, I'm just gonna pop the hood. And we open up the hood. And so what you're going to do initially is take a flathead screwdriver and you're going to pry off these plastic pieces that come along here. And so I removed mine a while ago and didn't put them back on. And so that's why I can't show you how to do that. But you just take a flathead screwdriver, put it underneath and just turn it or pull down and those things will pop right up. And so you remove this piece and then this is where we install your lights. And so when you're taking the lights off of this piece, which will, it will come this way, be careful, just push down the plastic and pull it off. But I think we're gonna start sending them with them just like this, and so you won't have to even take them off. So you just wire, and you just push this through here. And if you see these little grooves, these things just pop right into there. So that's popped in into place. You hear a little click. So from there, you have your wires and these just plug right in so you don't have to do any wiring yourself. Try and make it super simple and easy. And so if you look, you don't want any wires coming down right here where your hood pops down. And so, and you can hook these up to any of these four. You don't need to worry about which ones it's going to. And so you just take your first one, bring it underneath and connect it. And that just clicks in. And then here's your second one on this left side of this centerpiece. Just take this, bring it underneath, just snaps right in. Take the next one. Now you're on this side of this one so you don't have to worry about that. You just clip it right in. Then you just clip it right in. So those are all snapped in, ready to go. And so if you look, these two on the left side just go underneath this piece and these two over here are just plugged in right here. From here, we're going to put this wire into here and there's many ways you can do this, but this is the way that we've done it and had no issues with it. Slide this one down here. Just gonna thread this through. Gonna come along here, and I've usually gone underneath this relay fuse box. Just thread the wire through. And then we're right here. If you look right here, there's a hole right here. 
but there's usually a little rubber piece that goes on top right there. You're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna leverage against it and just pull that little rubber plug out. And then what we're going to do is feed these two wires into here. So we're just gonna take a little bit of tape, whatever tape you got laying around your house, or if you have electrical tape, that works too. We're just gonna tape these together so it's easier to find as we funnel it through, since they're together. And then we're just gonna push this through here and start pushing down. And so we just keep funneling it down and I would funnel down at least a couple feet worth so it's easier to find in the cabin of the driver's side. If you just keep pushing down until you get to this point and just keep pushing down a few inches, how this is wrapped will help it be able to pop out of the cabin a little bit easier because you can get some more leverage with this. So just keep pushing down. It might take you a couple tries but eventually it'll pop out. On the driver's side underneath here, if you get a flashlight, our cord has popped out. And so if you look, here's the e-brake, which I have pushed in, which makes it a little bit easier to get to. It's behind this piece right here. Like I said, it might take you a couple tries before this guy pops out, but eventually it'll pop out, especially if you're pushing down with that piece. So we're going to take this down here and now we're going to take off the tape. We have the positive cord, which is the red one and the negative one, which is the black one. What we're going to do with the black one is we're going to take the end copper wire, twist it around and then just feed it into this piece. And if you look in there, there's a little bit of metal in there that grabs it and then we're gonna squish it down. We just funnel this in until it goes into that metal piece. And then all we do from here is just squeeze it down until it gets in there. And then if you want, you can just give it a little tug. Don't like rip it out, but make sure that there's some tension there and so it's staying put. Okay. And then we're gonna take our wrench again. And there's this little, underneath the fuse box, and there's usually a, a cover. You might have a cover on it that you can pop off and you, your fuse box under here. And there's a screw right here. We're just gonna unscrew that and attach this to this. Screw this back on. And we are done with that wire. And then we're gonna take this that it comes with and we're just gonna slide it in here. And then you just Crank this down if you have some pliers or one of these. You just push down the metal so it connects. You know it's connected if you pull and doesn't pop out. Just give it a little bit of tension, don't yank on it. And then under here, see the fuse. And then if you see these tens, there's a 7.5, a 10, a 10, then there's a blank spot and another 10. So you just put it in right here. So 7.5, 10, 10, right here on the right side. So all you do is just plug it in and then just move this over and then you can release your brake lever if you'd like. 
and then if you want you can come in over here and just pull a little bit of this out and so it doesn't interfere with your brake in here just kind of want to make sure it's out of the way and not touching anything so you'll probably pull a little bit more and so it's out of the way of the brake lever okay once that's all plugged in we're just gonna put the keys in turn the ignition on see if it worked there you go easy as that and so you can plug that rubber piece back in if you would like and then if you want you can just pull this a little bit more out and then cinch up these with zip ties along the way at different points if you'd like and just make it clean and nice place this piece back on snap those plastic pieces back in which I threw away years ago and you're good to go you got Raptor lights now you can grab these on overlanddepot.com we will have the link in our description we have got lots of brands lots of stuff for your forerunner Tacoma we've got bumpers right now we've got rock sliders we've got racks we've got lighting We've got everything you need to get out on the trails and get overlanding. Thanks for watching this video. We appreciate the support.